I just realized that I haven't been talking about James Gunn Superman. <laughs> let's uh let's let's scroll up to the top, shall we? First off, <sighs> bright colors. Like we've <sighs> look, comic book fan, DC fans. We've been through it over these last few years. Um one could most certainly argue that J- that how am I said James Gunn that Zack Snyder washed out the color out of Superman and all of the heroes. It's always just so good, which is one of the only things that I can honestly give to Joss Whedon, which is in his version of uh, Justice League, and then also continuing in the Black Adam film, he had the brighter blue popping red suit that looked fantastic. That was dope as hell. That was super bad. Um, David Cornswit suits look, it looks fantastic. I've always been a fan of the trunks. I don't care what anybody has to say. I know there are a bunch of people out there who don't like the trunks. They're like, why, why, why does he have them? He has them for a reason. God damn it. <laughs> and I, and I, in all honesty, completely friggin' enjoy it. Um, Mr. Terrific looks great. Guy Gardner, there's a better shot of nathan fillion as guy gardner hold on it was somewhere right here yeah yeah i'm not complaining especially since we know that his suit is going to um it's gonna have cgi over it where he's probably always gonna have like the green outline for green lantern or there's gonna be touch-ups in some way shape or form i think he looks i think he looks great uh superman interacting with kids (sighs) just just, 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 it's the Boy Scout, man. Just the big blue Boy Scout. And I didn't realize how much we did not have this until I started seeing some of these pictures with him being like mobbed by kids. That's a better shot of Nathan Fillion with in uh, in his Guy Gardner attire. Now, one of the things I actually do want to talk about is if you zoom in on his chest, you see the JL for Justice League. I'm assuming that this is JL. For Justice League, because we do know that, hold on, somebody spoke about it, uh, here we are, the DCU is set in a world where the authority is the government super team, the JLA work for corporate tech companies, which would make sense, because one of the major members of the JLA is uh, Ted Kord's Blue Beetle, so it would make the most sense that Ted Kord's Blue Beetle would fund the JLA, and then by extension, they would probably also operate with other major tech companies like in that space that cord probably has a relationship with. Cause he's basically, he's essentially the Batman of the JLA where he's, he's bankrolling all of this. He's funding all of this, but it's interesting that Superman refused to fall in line with this agenda, which is he's not going on the side of the authority to be a government super team shill. And he's not going over to the JLA to work for only corporate company interests. He's just he's just a dude out here saving people, dog. And that's what we need. That is, in all honesty, what we need. And I think that is fucking great. Uh, if they're able to, like, toe that line perfectly, like like he says in here, it's a reverse kingdom come. Yes. Where <clears throat> you could honestly say that kingdom come is superheroes losing their way, Superman coming out of retirement to show the heroes that the old way of being... A Boy Scout hero is better than the anti-hero collateral damage versions that they had essentially become. This is essentially heroes being funded by either the government or by corporations turning and seeing somebody that's like, nah, you don't got to do all that. Like, you could just you could just be out here trying to help people. That's dope. I absolutely love that. I'm going to have an absolute blast. I know that they definitely said that. Oh, here it is right here. Uh, where is he? 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 There he is. Oh, with the kids. Ah, oh, that's gonna be so fucking cool, man. We didn't have that. We didn't have that in the Snyderverse. In the Snyderverse, he did probably just flew straight down and power bombed the ground and annihilated everyone or something stupid. But <laughs> I, I, is it retroactive hate? No, it's not retroactive hate. I saw the direction this was going in during batman v superman when i was just like uh, i don't think we need to go that dark in regards to superman batman sure superman not really but everything i see about what uh james gunn is essentially doing looks fucking looks fucking great uh what's on the james gunn end 
And for the most part, I've been trying to stay away from spoilers because I really don't want to be spoiled by anything. Christopher Reeve, uh, his son is going to be an anchor in Superman. That's freaking dope. Um, I really don't feel as though with cu- Culture Cave typically posts things that are, um, it's not for attention. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, clickbait. And it's like, my man here looked fantastic as Green Lantern. He looks fantastic as Jon Stewart. And but to be quite honest, I wish that James Gunn would go hire him and bring him back. But at the exact same time, he looks like he looks like nerdy douchebag uh, Guy Gardner. And I'm looking, I'm 100% looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to seeing uh, Hawkgirl in action. Oh, this movie's going to be so fucking good. I, a lot of people are saying Dr. Manhattan. I don't think Dr. Manhattan... Um, yeah, Metamorpho, like the person says in here. I kind of feel as though, I kind of feel as though it is Metamorpho. And like the commenter said, it's possible, like he wanted it to be practical effects. But to be quite honest, I kind of feel as though Metamorpho with practical effects is kind of hard since he's constantly changing his body. I kind of feel as though this is like the only time where I'm like, CGI? Yes, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff coming out, these behind the scenes shots coming out for um for the Superman film. It's it's funny how some people act like James and Superman doing wholesome stuff like saving dogs is really overdone and cartoonish, when Superman being serious and somber has mostly been the go to tone to li- to live action from the late twenty years. I think this is what's overdone. Yes, this is this is in fact true which is making making Superman serious and gloomy, which I will defend this film till the day I die, which is Superman, uh, Superman Returns with uh, Brandon Routh. Uh, <laughs> somber, somber, like, the serious. Well, then again, I think this scene is from, no, is it from the Parallel Earth? It's probably not from the Parallel Earth, but um, Hulchin's Superman is really, really good. Like, really, really fucking good. Uh, and I think his Superman is the one that hits the right tones of serious, but also goofy. But we'll see. Uh, that, which is hilarious that I'm looking at the Superman behind the scenes leaks when I've been I've been dodging Deadpool like the plague. Anytime I come on Twitter and I see Deadpool and Wolverine, I'm like, nope, nope. I think I put it on my ban list so I, it doesn't pop up in my feed in any way, shape, or form. Because there was a point in time where I was logging on and I was just looking at stuff. And it was like, here's a spoiler, here's a spoiler, here's a spoiler, here's a spoiler. And I got sick of it. So me coming on here to check out, like, the Superman stuff, knowing that it's going to be kind of sort of low-key kind of tame, that's 100% fine with me. Hey, is there a Superman version of this jacket? Um, Like like the one Tom Welling had in, uh, in, um, wait a minute, hold on. Tom Welling Superman jacket from Smallville. That jacket was cold. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, because you never saw Smallville, that's fine. You know, not not all of us have tastes, but it's this right here. Oh, it is it is Tom Welling's jacket from Smallville. It's just it's just the Batman variant of the jacket. That's that's actually pretty fucking cool. Like I didn't think that it was actually yeah, it's a, it's same design up on the shoulders. But instead of uh, the Tom Welling symbol, well, <laughs> Tom Welling symbol, instead of the Superman symbol, it's the Batman, it's the Bat symbol. And I think I saw another one, which I guess you could call this a variation of it with the Wonder Woman jacket, which also looks fucking cool. Ah, uh, let me know what you guys think about the 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 Superman and all that other type of stuff and blah blah blah. And I'll catch you in the next one.